received any approaches about having discussions. So I'm very glad to be able to do that because I think there are discussions to be had on all sides about the different experiences that people had during uh, the Occupy campaign. Not just members of Occupy, but also members of the cathedral, I think, the sorts of things that they had to go through, which were pretty unpleasant for many of them. Uh, to get together and talk about those things, and particularly about how we can work together for the future. One of the, the things I said in the sermon, which was already written and delivered with them, uh, it's the first time I've had a literally captive audience for a sermon. Um, one of the things that we've talked about in the sermon was our desire to work together, because the concerns Occupy have been concerns come back, Gary, of the come back. Church for the last well, yeah. 18, 1900 years or more. Uh, and so we're very glad to work together, not just with them, but with others who are concerned about those things that Occupy have highlighted. So just to confirm, they are still changed the pulpit and refusing to leave the uh, As far as I know, yes. So you have contact with the police? Yes, the police have just arrived and the police are going to come and talk to them and oversee their safe removal. Because they're chained, uh, it needs to be done oh. safely. Did Jesus yeah. call the police? Can you um, understand their weird kind of unhappiness with, uh, with the church? I'm not sure how unhappy with the church they are. But one of the things that saddened me was the way that uh, quite a bit of their unease was directed against St Paul's. Um, I'm not quite sure what all that's about, because St Paul's is only one part of the greater church, not just the Church of England, but churches throughout the country. We do an awful lot to support poor communities. But um, you violently evicted protesters, praying been, Christians on the steps me, of St Paul's. Me, can we just, uh, yeah, but you can avoid interview. the truth of the matter. Uh, you have a particular axe to grind. You've got a particular point of view. You I'd be very you. glad to meet with you to talk more about your But you never do. You make country. that promise and you never meet I'm with Michael us. Michael Coulter, I've only meet with those of us who are moving to the next one. If you want to come and see me and talk to me, I'll be very glad to do that. We've written letters and letters have been ignored. Five Christians were dragged from the steps while praying. You wrote to Michael Coulter before your appointment. Yes, I'd like to talk to you about about that exactly what that was what that was all about. How, how do you feel about the way that the situation has panned out today? You talk about wanting discussions. There's obviously still some smunnies that. Well, that, that, that's not this happening. this is an example of the kind of unresolved issues which are around. Which certainly I'm concerned to see whether we can bring people together on. And as, as Christian people, I'm assuming that you're Christians. As Christian people, the Lord Jesus Himself commanded us to share together our concerns with one another rather than dragging them into the public arena and that's what I'm very keen to do. And by the sounds of it, you're disappointed by how things have panned out this evening, the fact that you've had to involve the police. Oh yes, we didn't want to involve the police. I mean, people have a protest, they've made their point. Um, we all need to go home, have something to eat and go to bed. Uh, and the fact that four young women are putting themselves in a situation which you know, there's some personal discomfort for them, but it's also involving discomfort for other people. It's a shame, I and mean, it doesn't really need to happen. Could you say that you want to have discussions with people? If you just wanted to come home and have your tea, it seems like a fairly weak reason for inviting Why can't you talk to the protesters? The, the reason for inviting the teachers, well, well, we have, I have had some, about an hour and a half, discussion with the protesters about and the reason for saying that they need to go now is that now is not the time to have a meeting. So we need to have a meeting that's set up properly. We know what we're meeting for and who we're meeting with, and that the, the right people from the people are meeting together. So can I ask you, sir, well, if I, the protesters refuse to go this evening, what will be the police's role? Do you know? Well, the police's role, as far as I know, is to enable them to go safely. And if, the, and if they refuse to go, are the police going to force to eject them, do you know? Uh, that's the matter for the police. I don't know. They that's will, I know decision. that. The, I know that the police decision. will do all that they can to make sure it's peacefully resolved, which is what we want to happen. My the understanding is that the ladies inside have not given exactly permission nor request have been made to be cut free. So uh, what you'll we, be doing would be would, an aggressive yes, movement, removing them instead the, of just speaking to them the way that they wish to. Uh, I have spoken to them. No, the only conversations, because I've listened to most of them, have all, all been about, go away tonight, come back another day. It's about setting up a proper meeting, which is on both our terms, and not just one... Dozens of times time people have tried protesting. setting up dozens of meetings yes. with St Paul's. Well, I'm, I'm not saying this is your fault, Yeah, but... Uh, I don't know the truth or otherwise of that. All I can say is that I want to meet, and I will meet. Okay. 
Okay. Any idea how quickly you might meet? My name is David Ison and I'm the Dean of St Paul's. Is it ISON? ISON. Thank you. Any idea how quickly you might be able to meet with the ladies? Uh, depends on what our diaries are like. If the ladies are available at any point, how soon do you think you might be able to meet uh, with I them? I'd have to go and have a look at the diary. But I'm not saying that in order to fob you off, because I recognise that it's important to do. But it's also important to set it up carefully, so it's properly prepared, and is not something which just is bounced on people. Cool. Okay. Thank you very much, Thank you very much indeed. Uh, have a good evening. Thank you.